Homelands are important because it's the follow-up to the first impressions. See, the home layout is where viewers are quickly going to discern what your channel is about and if it's going to be worth their time. And that's why placement is critical on what sections you have, how many of them you have, and which ones are at the top and which ones are at the bottom, and do they match your banner? Do they match your about section, the description of your channel? These things actually matter because it can be the difference between looking like something that's worth someone's time versus they could care less. It's your resume, so to speak, for viewers to kind of do an interview to see if should I subscribe to this person should I watch their content on a resume you want to look at your best as good as possible right and so it is the same thing with your home layout you want that to look as neat and as clean as possible and make it look shiny and attractive just as you would your resume when you're trying to get a new job so whatever bids you put at the top of the layout is where you're most likely to get clicked regardless of the at the time that's recording the new for you section that was added whatever section you put at the top that is going to be most likely where people click if you have the for you section on which I highly recommend you do turn that on That's kind of gonna be a little iffy on some viewers are gonna be more likely to click the for you section And some are more gonna be more likely to click the other section now One mistake to avoid here is you do not want to use a lot of sections if you look at what mr Beast has he only has a couple of sections and here's why see viewers don't want to keep scrolling to find out What your channel is about they're gonna take a look at your channel. They're gonna take a look at that homepage and they might look at videos, they might look at your community posts, and from there they're gonna decide, is this creator worth my time? Now they may not ask themselves that, but that's what they're thinking, that's what the motions are going through. And so when you only have a couple sections, that helps them to quickly see, okay, this is what they have, this is what the channel's about, and then it actually encourages them, because there's not much there to look at, it encourages them to go and explore the other sections of your channel, like the videos, the community posts, and your, and your description, before before the for you section was added to YouTube, Mr. Beast used just three sections on his channel. He'd have his new uploads, popular uploads, and then a sub to all channel showing all of that is basically a channel recommendation, which avoids the dreaded scroll that viewers dislike. It's short, it's simple, it's very obvious on, hey, this is who he is, this is what he does, and this is where else you can find him if you don't want to watch that channel or if you want to watch another channel in addition. Now, I'm not telling you that you need to use the new video section and the popular video section figure out what works best for your channel on pick three sections or maybe even two since the for you section is the thing now that's gonna best fit for your channel and prioritize showcasing that you want to showcase the best part of your, your video library that's going to get the most attention because again it comes back to first impressions or rather in this case second impressions because they've already discovered you through a community post a short a video or a live stream or maybe even a Twitter post or discord you want to stick in their mind because as soon as they leave you don't know if they're gonna come back they might not so you want to give them a reason to come back multiple reasons really hey it's me shards thank you for watching the video be sure to click this one over here i'm sure you're gonna love it i'll see you over there don't forget to subscribe